All right, today I want to test out my MSR Guardian water filter. And I thought we would do it in a uh, kind of an interesting way. So I have a, I bought a microscope and the MSR Guardian water filter, it's a hiking water filter. It's supposed to uh, filter out bacteria and cysts and viruses. And I can't, I can't show you viruses because that would take an electron microscope, but I do have a fairly nice light microscope. So uh, I thought we would get some of this dirty pond water and fill up this canister and we would see the little microbes under the microscope from the pond water and then we would filter the water out and we would see if those microbes go away. I'm not a microscopist, I'm just a hobbyist. I have no idea if this is gonna work or not, but uh, I thought it would make an interesting video. I've, I haven't seen anybody else do it. So let's get some water here. I feel like I'm not getting it deep enough here. There we go, that's pretty good. All right. All right, so there's some dirty, silty pond water and uh, hopefully we've got some microorganisms in there. We'll take it back to the, uh, the house and put it under the microscope and see what we got. Should be interesting. All right, there's our sample. Okay, so this is zoomed in. This is using the 60 times objective, and my camera has a 2.5 times eyepiece attached to it. This is clearly something. I don't know exactly what it is, but you can see to the left of the blob, there's like a little, a little thing moving around furiously, and the whole blob kind of moves a little bit. All right, so this is the same object at 20 times, or using the 20 times objective rather than the 60 times objective. Let's just scan around and see if we can find anything here. Most of this stuff looks like dirt. Maybe some glass shards from where I failed to clean the uh, slide correctly. Oh, this little guy's moving. Can you see that? Look at him go. He just paused right at that air bubble thing. Look at him go, wow. Zoom. He's quick. So we are using the 20 times lens, which seems to be my best bet for scanning little tiny creatures and stuff. Oh, there's one. You see him? Let's see if I can track him. See that little dude? This is a slower one up here. Let's look at that guy. He looks like he's alive too. This is 40 times on that guy. He's moving around. Well, fast mover coming in. Difficult to get that dude in focus. But you can see all of those little creatures floating around in there. Moving, doing stuff, doing little bug things, whatever they are, little microbe things. Okay, so let's get on with this. So this is the MSR Guardian water filter. It's a pretty neat little bit of kit here. I've used it a few times. Okay, 
And what I want to do before we do this test is I want to do an integrity test on it just to make sure that it's functioning properly. You need a clear bottle. You fill it about a, uh, one third of the way full. You disconnect the hoses. You turn it upside down. You pump five to 10 strokes. Then you pump five to 10 strokes with your finger over the top hole. And you shouldn't see any water bottles, or sorry, air bubbles. All right, so let's see if I can follow basic instructions here. I make no promises. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna fill this up part way through. Again, I use my clear water bottle for the pond water, unfortunately, so we're gonna have to try to make do with this. Not ideal, but it'll be all right. So about a third of the way full, like so. Remove the clean cover, screw it onto the bottom of the filter. We're gonna remove the hoses at the top. There we go. We're gonna turn it upside down and I'm gonna make sure that these two uh, nipples here are pointed away from me. We're gonna pump five to 10 strokes. And there will be water coming out as we do that. And um, one thing that I don't love about this is that it it leaks from this rim when you do this. Uh, I don't think that that's a problem integrity wise, but it's kind of annoying. So, there we go. Tighten it up a little bit, that might help. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now we're going to put our finger on the smallest nipple here and we're gonna pump five to 10 more strokes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we'll go with eight. Now it is safe if you don't see bubbles coming up. If it says if a few bubbles escape, pump, the handle five more strokes and observe another 30 seconds. So, one, two. I'm actually gonna restart that. My finger's starting to hurt. All right, so one of the things that bothers me about the MSR Guardian is uh, this O-ring. For some reason, sometimes it can leak. And so I was getting a lot of water coming out of that O-ring earlier just pumping. It seems okay now. What I did is I... I strongly recommend that, you know, that you perform this leak test every time. What I did is I, I unscrewed it, which is a little dangerous because you've got, you know, bacteria in the filter and everything. I think most of the bacteria is up here, not down here, but still. So what I did is I unscrewed it and I poured a little bit of water on the O-ring and then I screwed it back together and that seemed to help. So let's, let's try this test again now that we've done this. Now that it appears to be performing properly. Again, I've just, I've had this in my backpack for like a couple of weeks. Maybe that's not a good plan. I don't know. Uh, but you really, you really want to perform this integrity test every time you use this thing, I think, because there's a good chance that it's not gonna work for some reason and you're gonna to have to tweak that O-ring. All right, so again, upside down, pump a few times here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And again, I am getting a little bit of leaking. This time it seems like it's from the water bottle. So I'm gonna tighten that up just a tad. Hopefully we're all right there. Okay, so now I'm going to hold that port and I'm gonna pump. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, one bubble, one, two, three, four, 
four, five. Okay, it says if a few bubbles escape, pump the handle five more strokes and observe another 30 seconds. If no subsequent bubbles escape, the pump is safe. You know, I'm getting a couple of little bubbles here and there, so I don't know. I don't know how safe it is, you know? I mean, I feel like I feel like if they changed anything on the on the Guardian, they should they should fix these seals here so that they're a little more robust. And maybe that means making the body out of metal instead of plastic. I don't know. Which would probably increase the weight, make it less backpackable. You know, it's an engineering problem. I just... All right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One little bubble. One, two. Yeah, I mean it's probably safe. It's really hard to say though, because I do get, I do keep getting a couple of little bubbles, but it's not streaming bubbles, so it's probably okay. All right, so now that we've got our integrity test out of the way, and we figure it's probably mostly functional uh, maybe possibly functional i ordered a maintenance kit we'll, we'll see if that helps I'll try replacing some of the seals on it even though this thing's brand new i've only had it for a couple of months replace these cables tubes rather so now we're going to take our pond water and our empty nalgene and we are going to Almost screwed it onto the pond water. That would not be what I wanted to do. We are going to attempt to pump from this into the Guardian. And in order to do that, I think I'm gonna have to pour it out into another container. Partner is gonna kill me for dirtying up her, her good bowls. But uh, let's pour some of this pond water in here. Okay, got some little bugs floating around in there. All right, and we're gonna fill this up. Let's pour some more pond water in here. Okay, that should be enough. And now, let me see. I need a I need a container that I can get an eyedropper into here. So this is this is bad water here. This is going to go over here, and this is going to be the good water. So we're going to take the bottom off of the Nalgene, and we're going to pour it in there. And so that's the water that we're going to sample. That should be drinkable water. All right. Okay, and so again, this is, uh, this is the water that we just filtered. This is distilled water here. And I'm just gonna prepare this slide. These are fresh out of the box, but one of my, oh, I got two cover slips there. Three, I got three. One of my cover slips, um, cracked or a few cover slips cracked in the box. So I've got little glass shards all over my cover slips, unfortunately. Uh, so I'm just trying to blow them off, get as much glass off of there as I can. Uh, fresh Q-tip. So we're gonna try to wash off the surface of this. I am not very good at this. Seems like there's a whole art just to cleaning slides and cover slips.
Same thing with the cover slide. Okay, now using a fresh dropper here, I'm gonna take some of the water that we just filtered, purified, whatever. And let's go take a look at that. All right, so let's do our comparison here. So this is the pond water slide. And you can see all of these little creatures floating around here. They're little, they look like little dots. We'll zoom in a little more here. See if we can show them a little more clearly. There we go, see all that, all that movement? All of those are little creatures floating around. This is the pond water. So when you, when you drink pond water, these little guys are what makes you sick. And this is just one drop of pond water. I mean, if you drink like an entire liter of it, man, then you got all these dudes floating around inside your body. All right, so let's switch over to the MSR Guardian filtered slide. Yeah, there's our, there's our water line for the slide. So that's definitely the inside of the slide. I just don't see anything moving. Top of the slide, or slip cover for the slide, inside of the slide. Again, slip cover, slide itself. So yeah, I mean, I feel like the MSR Guardian works pretty well at filtering at least things on the bacterial level, bacterial sized items, given that I can't find, this is like the second slide that I've made and I just can't find anything moving around. It's pretty cool. Anyway, hope you found this video interesting or useful. Um, if you're interested in an MSR Guardian, I have a link down below the video in the description. As always, thanks for watching and please subscribe.